Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue on today's video. I'm going to be cooking up a beautiful rack of beef short ribs, beef plate, on the big green egg. Yep, the big green egg. Let's get going. So a couple of months ago, a company sent me an email asking if I wanted to try a couple rubs out. So they sent me two bottles. One was labeled A, one was labeled B. No other information. So I used both of them on beef short ribs, separate racks, obviously. And when I let them know, yeah, I'm done, they, they sent me a, like a survey, which was kind of basic questions, one through five. You know, one being bad, five being fantastic. And then there was an area where you could kind of leave a narration of what your thoughts were. I honestly liked both rubs, but one I liked a little better, and I made a couple small suggestions. About a month later, I received an email from them saying, hey, we've developed a rub. Um, you and the others that they sent these surveys to helped create it, and they asked if they could sponsor a video, so yeah. I didn't even know the brand of the rub at that time, but this is it. It's made by Suchi Spices, and this is what they call their barbecue rub. And I think the most appropriate category would be it's, it's an all-purpose rub. Um, it's funny because even when I, I didn't expect to hear back from them at all, but I was still using the rubs. And I've used them on chicken and uh, I think some salmon. But it's a, it's a good, good rub. So let's go ahead and get this going. So I love using Worcestershire sauce as a binder when I'm cooking beef. I use, do this a lot on briskets and beef back ribs. I'm sure this rub would probably be great on vegetables as well. Obviously, you would definitely need a binder on veggies. And I like to use like olive oil. You could use a fruit juice, lemon juice or something. Let's get this going. So this rub, it's got a really nice kind of a savory heat going on, a slight sweetness, um, not too much sweetness for beef in my opinion, but uh, it would be great on pork as well. And I'm gonna go pretty darn liberal with this stuff. And you know, I stopped caring about the back of these particular ribs. Beef back ribs, I'll definitely peel off the membrane, season them. There's not any meat on these bones, on these, uh, these plate ribs. All right, we are going to let this sweat through. It's looking really good. It smells really good. I love the smell of the stuff. And we'll get them on the egg. So about nine or 10 years ago, I entered a recipe contest that was being hosted by Johnsonville for their brats. And I came up with a recipe that basically I kind of deconstructed paella. And I had like, you know, of course the Johnsonville brats in there and lobster, shrimp, a bunch of seafood. Uh, but I skewered everything and obviously, you know, everything but the rice. and. Uh, just made this beautiful presentation, this kind of fanned presentation. And I ended up winning the contest. And this is what I won. The uh, big green egg large, the large big green egg. And uh, yeah, it was a exciting moment for me. And I'll probably never get rid of this thing just because of the sentimental values. But anyway, i am got this thing rolling right now at 250. I do have some little wood chunks in here, actually little pieces of uh, bourbon barrel is in here with the lump. Go ahead and give it a burp. And of course, reset my damper here. Big Green Egg has since made an improvement. Probably have to tighten that screw down a little bit anyway. So the hard part's done. Now I'm just going to let the egg do what the egg do, and that's cook, and it cooks good. I mean, this, this old egg does a fantastic job. Um, not going to concern myself with the temperature of the meat. We're going off a of tenderness, so I'm expecting this cook to be 
I don't know, five to seven hours. We're at the two hour mark now. The egg's been running crazy stable, running 250 the whole time. Time to check out the uh, ribs here. Looking good, looking really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it with a little water. So we're just gonna let it roll again. I'll probably check the ribs again in about an hour or so just to see if they're getting a little dry. If so, just water. Okay, we're at that five hour mark now. We're gonna check to see if this thing is done. And again, although I am using a thermometer, I'm just using the probe to see how tender it is. We're not concerned about the temperature of the meat. And look at that. So the Suchi's rub has definitely made a nice crust. Wow. Okay, let's see where we're at. It is done. <laughs> you can see how probe tender that is. Let's go ahead and close the lid here. So what I'm going to do now is remove this from the egg. I'm going to tin it with some foil, just let it rest inside for, I don't know, probably 20 minutes or so. Then I'll give you guys a try. And here we are, rested and ready to eat. First things first, I mean, the, the look at the color here. That, that rub just left a really nice bark. I mean, the bark is gorgeous. Kind of that mahogany color. The smell, I mean, I'm smelling that beautiful rendered beef fat blending with those spices. It's a, it's a great, great smell. Um, lost a bone. That's what happens with these, you know, these beef plates, these short ribs. You know, the meat kind of shrinks and swells up in the center. Anyway, let's give this a try. <laughs> oh, wait until you see what I'm seeing. <laughs> it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Got a nice little Kamado smoke ring. I'm happy with that. So what I'm going to do is save this for my wife. And I'm gonna save this one here for my son. They both are beef rib. I mean, I am too. I'm gonna to sacrifice for them. I'm gonna cut a nice piece off of this bone here. Look at that, very happy. Nostalgic cook for me. I haven't cooked on this BGE in several years. Cheers. Very good. So this is a great, great beef rub. The thing I really dig on it is it is just not too salty. I mean, you can definitely taste salt, but it's not, you know, some of those rubs, it's just overpowering. Mm. That was a amazing cook. I had fun. I got Still not used to all this weird hair here, this mustache and stuff. As I said before, very nostalgic for me. Um, I haven't cooked on the big green egg in such a long time and I forgot how great of a cooker it is. So that was fun. Ribs turn out amazing. I'm really looking forward to getting the ribs in the house so I can have dinner with my family. I was very, very pleased with this. That Suchi Spices Barbecue Rub. It's in your face there. They didn't come up with some crazy name. It's Barbecue Rub. Pretty self-explanatory self there. I liked it. I, again, one of the things I, I, that really stood out was it wasn't crazy with the salt. And for me, that's very important because some of these brands, they just go berserk with the salt. And if I want a little bit more salt, I'll add it, but um, you can't take salt out. Once it's there, it's there. It had the perfect kind of savoriness. You know, there's a nice spice blend in there. Teeny, teeny bit of heat, little teeny bit of sweet. So again, an all purpose rub. Uh, chicken, definitely brisket, ribs. Use it on some pork ribs. Um, Suchi's is very, very passionate about the unique benefits of this rub, so much so that I didn't want to get it wrong because the memory. So I'm going to read it to you guys. On this customized sheet that I've printed out that I've actually stained, 
I've anointed it with a little bit of beef short rib fat <laughs> and a little bit of sushi as you can see it in there. So it's low carb and low sugar. As I said, I mean a little teeny bit of sugar, proudly made in the USA and that's huge for most of us. Certified kosher. Um, gluten-free, no MSG, free of trans fat and saturated fat, cholesterol free, and it's free of artificial flavors and preservatives. So it's, it's all natural. It's just a very, very good all-purpose rub. So again, thank you Suchis for sponsoring this video. It was fun. I, and I, again, I was using it even before they had sponsored me. So um, cheers to them. Anyway, guys, uh, there's a discount code. I'm going to have an Amazon link down below for the rub and the discount code as well. So you can get like 20% off, I want to say. Guys, if you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, thumbs up. See you on the next video. Cheers.